All right, got ourselves a nice Burmese python crossing the road. Well, hello everybody. Ant-Man here with another adventure. As you see, I'm out here doing what I normally do at night. I'm shining the edge of the uh, thick vegetation where it meets the lower vegetation in hopes of finding myself a python. As I've mentioned before, a lot of times the rodents and other prey items kind of run along the corridor where that tall vegetation meets the lower vegetation, and the pythons in turn will do the same thing. So I'm out doing that right now. Today's episode is going to be a pretty good representation of what a couple of nights worth of hunting can yield. You can get a little bit delirious out there not finding stuff, but if you stick with it and have patience, you can be rewarded. Okay, got our first one of the night. A little six-footer. Hey there. Alright, well, it's a good start to the evening. Let's go ahead and pin this guy down. Head there. He's freezing cold to the touch. Wow. All right, time to move on. Get this. A Brooks King crawling along in the Everglades at night. How cool is that? Hmm. Interesting. It's a beautiful little snake. A male. Get a picture of this guy and then let him go. Alright, after taking a picture of this guy, I'm gonna put him back down where we found him. Let him do his thing. The thing about the uh, these, this is actually probably Collier County, but these king snakes are very lacking pattern. But unlike the ones from southern, southern Dade which usually have a bright yellow. These ones out often have a very brown wash to them like this one does. But and nonetheless, it's a king, so we're gonna let him go do his thing. Off he goes. But when you're out there night after night, constantly spending hours and hours and hours staring at the side of a levee or a road, your mind can start to wander. It, it uh, gets a little bit lonely sometimes, and if you're not seeing anything, you can kind of get delirious, as I do tonight. Here, sneaky, sneaky. Here, sneaky, 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 sneaky. Here, Mr. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. This is what happens when you're delusional. Been staring at the side of the road for hours upon hours upon hours trying to find a damn snake. Pretty soon, you're almost hallucinating, seeing things that ain't there, talking to imaginary creatures. We'll go back to calling the snake. Here, snakey, 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 snakey. Here, snakey, 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 snakey. All right, got ourselves a nice Burmese python crossing the road. You want to catch him? Nope. You sure? It's an easy catch. Nope. It's a perfect size, too. Let me get a picture here first. Yeah. Nice little seven footer. Just coming out onto the pavement right now. Now he detects us. Sure you don't want to give it a shot? No. Nope. Alright. Put this on video. Ooh, that's a mess right there. Mm. 
Okay. Feisty little guy. How big is that? Uh, seven feet. Coat me with a nice layer of stink. It's a beautiful thing, I tell you. All right. See that all over my thumb? Musk. It's a beautiful thing. It's like cologne. Here, easy one, small. Hey. Looks good. Good looks good to me. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Hold on, there. Yeah. Six footer. Yeah. Nice. Good way to start the even dark one. Cool. Awesome. It's pretty early too. Yeah. Nice little bonuses. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing we find in the other location. Just much. you know, the same time slot too. Fishy little bastard. Yeah. Cool. All right, all right, smile and say hi. That's all, that's all we see is the, the, the blinding light. There you go. Cool. My buddy Kyle kicking in butt as you right. be over here. Oh, well, if it's at the base, always go yeah. down for him. Oh, yeah. Yep. Same size. Woo! Don't, Same don't size bust size. up. Perfect. Out and on patrol. Pretty. Yeah, sure is. You know what? A little too active for me. Cool. I'll settle down. I got you. Awesome. Like you said it, I'm like, that looks like a python. <laughs> I, you know, I just saw the gleaming black. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Same it's, size. Yeah. Almost identical in every yeah, way, like shape, six, and form. Another six footer. It's number two. They've come pretty pretty close back to back tonight. Cool. Well, mm -hmm. that's two and we've barely started, so let's see if we can't make Good it a thing. Like a four or five sneaky night. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see. Alright. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that little brief synopsis of what it looks like to have two nights of hunting out in the Everglades. You know, not every snake can be 16, 17 feet long. <laughs> I wish it was. But uh, that gives a, a pretty good uh, representation of how it really is. You can pretty much expect to catch pythons every day, um, you know, depending on the time of year. Sometimes it's at night, sometimes it's in the day. But pretty much daily, you can expect to catch them if you put enough time and effort in. But as I always say, if you enjoy the material, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope that these videos help you to not only get an understanding of how this all works out there, but uh, give you a little bit of entertainment along the way also. Hope to see you all out there in the field, as I always say. Take care, be safe, later on.